Hello, hello there. It's Ticos from Ticos Minis, and uh, today we are going on a little journey once again into the 30th millennium. So last time we did an entire army of um, Raven Guard. This time around we are going to go um, the opposite way with the Night Lords. So we have this and um, quite a lot more to build. So let's get cracking on that and, well, complete an army. Let's go. Uh, so first things first, I'm going to build the entire army in one go. Um, to do that and um, be the most efficient possible, I work in tiny groups. So meaning I will do all of the tactical marines together, followed by all the terminators together, the walkers and the tanks. In this process, it is very important if you want um, a beautiful army to not forget to clean the mold lines. That's it. Everything is built, including our little Primark here. So what's next is, just like we did for the Raven Guard, I'm going to apply the texture on the bases. So after that, once uh, everything is well based, I can proceed to prime every model and start batch painting. So let's go. Here, so for basing, this is what I'm using to do urban base. This is a, something I mix myself. So there are some rocks, a lot of little chunks of uh, slate, some sand and also some uh, dirt that I can gather outside put everything in a, well, a container, mix everything and then you just have to put some glue on the base and put them in there. And there we go, everything is ready. So what I am going to do now is to prime everything and then we can start painting. But before doing the entire army in one go, as I usually do, since I've never painted Night Lords, I'm going to do a little test on one dude. And um, if my client is happy with how the little one is looking, we can start batch painting. Alrighty then. Here we go, a full box of marines, primed, based and ready for painting. My client have received picture of this one, which is um, the crash test I did for the color scheme of the army and is happy with it. This means it's batch painting time. Alright, here we go. We are starting to paint um, 50 Space Marines at once. So, after my test, the um, nicest color I found for the base of the blue was this, a relic from the past. This probably hasn't been open in 10, 15 years, maybe, I don't know. Very old. But it's a nice blue. So we are starting with that as the base color for the blue. Alright, so we have the first layer of blue down. Now onto 
the highlight. So for the highlight, I will be using this color, dark blue by Valeo Mecha Colors, and I will airbrush it on all of the highlighted areas. And there we go. The blue is completely done. It's uh, the base coat is there. The highlight is there. So I think the next thing is going to be repainting all the weapons with black because black is going the final colors and right now there is a lot of uh, blue over spray on it. Black is done. So ne next thing I want to do are all the little studs on the shoulder pad and since with the Night Lords they are supposed to be a bit uh, golden instead of using um, aluminium color as I would usually do I'm going to use copper Boom! All the little studs are completed so now the next thing I want to do on these guys are all the metallic parts that are not copper obviously so once they are done I can just uh, wash everything and be one step closer to complete the army There we go, the metallics are completely done. So now the next step is going to be the um, liquid magic, that is the black wash. I'm going to apply that on all the metallics we just did, as well as the little studs. And from a goofy looking toy, We'll go from there to an actual war machine of a space marine. Alright, so the wash is done. The little army men don't look like toys anymore, but uh, a lot better, <laughs> we'll say. Uh, at this point, if you just do the bases and the islands, you could consider these guys tabletop ready if you just want to play with them and not care too much. But this is not what we want here. This is a commission. Uh, the quality of the paint job should reflect what my customer pay paid for them and also I like to put a bit more effort into the things I do. So what we are going to do is uh, weather the, the marines to well, make them look a bit more interesting and uh, fit a bit better on a battlefield where the armor would not stay clean a long time. Uh, first thing I'm going to do to achieve that is to take a bit of metallic color and uh, scratch all of the edges of the armor in order to give it a nice worn and chipped look. Okay, so at this point in the process, what I want to do is to finish all the little details that are left on the on the Space Marines, like um, the 
like uh, the sculpted uh, helmets, the banners, and the little medallion, well, everything that is left to do. Then I'm going to varnish the model to protect them from uh, being manipulated later on when they'll be played. And once this is done, and only then, I'm going to add the pigment powders. And once uh, this is done, I can add the light sources. So the eye lenses will be little lights. The plasma pistols will be little lights. And uh, once this is done, they'll be completed. Alright, it's finally time to add the pigment powders for the final step of the weathering and the uh, almost final step of the model. So in here I already have some uh, dark brown and uh, burnt sienna pigments. And now I'm going to add a bit of black wash. and a bit of water, like that. I'm going to mix it a bit. And now I'm going to apply that on the model, trying to imitate a pin wash. Okay, so this is it. The powders are on. The base are done. So the only thing left to do is to paint the lenses on the helmets. And also on a few of them, since uh, they are night lords, I'm adding a few lightning bolts. Not all of them, but uh, I will do that on quite a few. And uh, here we are. The 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 tactical marines are completed, completely done, so that's that. So all this part of the infantry is completed, completely done, painted, varnished, based, ready to play. So it took um, a few days to paint these 50 guys and uh, now that they are done, hello there, I can move on to the next thing which are terminators, uh, jump pack guys heroes, characters, and uh, yeah, after that we'll get a few tanks to paint and uh, the army will be completed and ready to go back to the other side of the world. So let's do this. Okay, so this is the second and last batch of infantry completed.
Okay, so we finally reached the last stretch of the army, which uh, happens to be the tanks. So we have uh, four of them, two little rhinos and uh, two big ones, as well as one dreadnought and uh, two pretters, I think, that I completely forgot to paint when I did the infantry. So we're going to work on that. And when this is done, it will mean that uh, the army is done. So for these tanks and characters, I will use exactly the same technique I used on the infantry I already showed you. Same colors, same techniques, everything is the same. So I will leave you with um, a little time lapse and uh, a bit of music and catch you right after that. For the Thunderbolt, considering the area I can work on is a lot larger than on the infantry, um, in order to give it a more interesting look, I will start by airbrushing a bit of the lighter blue, and then I will add the well, Thunderbolt with the brush inside of this airbrushed highlight. In addition to the scratches and the dust, I like to add a few um, blaster, laser and bolt impact on, on the armor panels. folks there it is the army is completed we have all the infantry we have the walkers and the tanks it's uh, yeah it's all there so let's go let's put all of this on the display board
Hey folks, it is Tikos from uh, the future, considering it is one year after I finished painting this army. But I, at the time I didn't film an outro, so there we are. So I really hope you enjoyed uh, seeing this video. I am very new to this kind of film project. So um, if you have any tips on how to make it better for the future, for you, as well as for me, please let me know in the comment. Um, in the meantime, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing it. As I mentioned in the video, uh, this was a commission because my full-time job is to paint minis for other people. So if you are interested in getting your own army painted by me, uh, you can just uh, contact me over on Facebook, Instagram or any social media. Um, I probably am on there uh, with the under Ticos Minis. So you can contact me over there if you are interested. But uh, that's it. Uh, once again, I thank you for watching the video and uh, well, I'll, I will see you in the next one. Thank you again and uh, bye bye. Ticos out.